Radio John Nation. It's your boy Mac, the Giants fan. Welcoming you back to another edition, the Week Ten edition, as a matter of fact, of after further review, New York Giants visiting the Dallas Cowboys. Man, and, uh, this was just another pathetic performance, pathetic effort by the New York Football Giants. Again, we've seen many of those this season. Just not to be, keep beating a dead horse, but it, I, I don't know what to say about this football team at this juncture. They have now officially lost to the Dallas Cowboys, uh, eighty-nine to seventeen on the year. Two matchups against the Dallas Cowboys, and they've lost a combined eighty-nine to seventeen to a bitter rival like the Dallas Cowboys. Let that sink in. Haven't even played the Philadelphia Eagles yet. Just can't even imagine what this team might do to us. Yeah, this this is. Uh, <sighs> Defense came out looking like they were ready to play. Honestly, and I'm just going to be speaking on it. It looked like they even came out. The defense looked like they did come out ready to play a little bit of inspired football, some inspired football. But this offense, this offense is just what it is, man. And it looks like once that de- once the defense got gave the ball back to the offense in plus territory, in, in great plus territory in the red zone, and this offense still squandered even that opportunity as well. Defense checked out then to check completely out of this football game and went on to give up 600-plus yards of offense to the Dallas Cowboys. This New York Giants team was outgained by the Dallas Cowboys by over 500 yards. You have to go back to the 60s the last time a team was outgained by so much by their opponent. And New York Giants has continued to uh, set records for all in all the wrong ways week in and week out. And, and teams playing the New York Giants set records. I mean, you see CeeDee Lamb come in and set a, set a record today, did a, uh, had a record-breaking performance. Dak Prescott had a record-breaking performance. I mean, it's just it's just terrible. The offensive line continues to just be horrible. I mean, Tommy DeVito for what it's worth, running for his life the entire game. Kid never really had a chance anyway. I don't know how much it would have mattered. I think we saw enough of Tommy DeVito to know that, yep, we're not on to any kind of like, you know, new Brock Purdy story here. This dude is not, he's not the guy. Threw a couple of touchdown passes, albeit one was an absolute meaningless garbage time Touchdown at the last second of the game to Sterling Shepard. I don't. I really don't even like to count that. As far as I'm concerned, the Cowboys really outscores 89 to 10. If you really want to look at it like that, that last touchdown they pretty much just rolled out the red carpet and said, "Go ahead, do what you want to do. It doesn't matter. This game is long over." But uh, yeah, it was just just another terrible effort by the New York Giants, man, out there, and. At, at this point, it's getting harder and harder to keep coming out every week and, and trying to make content and trying to find any glimmer of, of hope or any glimmer of positivity about this football team. It's bad from the coaching on down. This this, this rotten to the core. This thing needs to be busted all the way down and rebuilt all the way back up. Is this the coaching regime to do it? I don't know. I'm not as convinced anymore. I mean, just week in and week out, the decisions keep getting more and more questionable. You get a fourth and two down there inside the five-yard line. You get down to fourth and two, and we turn around and hand the ball off to our running back who hasn't gained more than about a yard the entire game at that point. And we think that that's going to all of a sudden work now on fourth and two. Like the Cowboys weren't looking to stop your absolute best and only legitimate weapon that they have any remote fear of out there. Yeah, sure. Sure, let's go ahead and do let's go let's go let's turn around and hand the ball off to him, the one guy that they're focused the most on making sure he doesn't beat them. Yeah, let's do that. Let's not let Tommy DeVito, you know, maybe do a little pitch and catch with someone and get to pick up two yards because we don't trust our quarterback to, to do that apparently which means that's not the quarterback need to be out there I'm not necessarily saying Matt Barkley is either I'm saying 
if you were really serious about anything, then why not bring a veteran presence and somebody else to just weather the storm? But we chose to ride and go with Tommy DeVito, and clearly this offense, is, uh, this coaching unit has no, hasn't had the faith in that guy either. So I, I just this head scratching mistakes. I'm not. I don't want to get too too out of control. I'm not one to really say let's go ahead and fire Todd uh, Brian Dable and just. But at the end of the day, man, this thing needs to be torn down and built back up. However, you do it, it can't just you. You, you can't. You can't go for a lot of these guys. <laughs> Look, the New York Giant days need to be numbered, man. The talent is not there. The effort is not there. These guys screaming at each other on the sidelines, screaming at the coaches on the sideline. It's it's a bad look. They look like a very poorly run franchise right now. And that's not what you that's that's something that's synonymous with the New York football giants. This is terrible. It stinks and it's rotten all the way to its very core. So uh Let's just get ready to tear this thing down, man. Like, stop. Let's rip the Band-Aid off, so to speak, and tear it all the way down. This team needs a franchise quarterback. This team needs an offensive line that can actually block. This team needs needs playmakers that can make plays. <coughs> so, defensively, Kayvon Thibodeau goes down with a concussion. So, he's in the protocol now. Cordell Flock, the one that got the interception earlier in the game, he's, he got injured earlier. He got injured and couldn't finish the game. Deontay Banks, first round draft pick, got injured, couldn't finish the game. Uh, I guess if we want to talk about anything, one positive thing, Andrew Thomas was able to come back after, after halftime. But uh, overall, it just, just a terrible display. A terrible, terrible display of football for the New York Giants. Once again, week 10, no different than pretty much any other week this season. Uh, this New York Giant team is inept on offense, cannot score points. Uh, the sad part is, I mean, if you do account on that last garbage touchdown that they scored, this New York Giant team at 17 points might be their second highest point total of the season, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, not a good look. Just not a good look. The fact that that 17 points is the second highest point total <laughs> of the year. Oh, my goodness gracious. At halftime of this game, the Dallas Cowboys had 28 points. The New York Giants had zero points. The New York Giants had 27 yards of offense at halftime of this football game. And while the, meanwhile, the Dallas Cowboys had 28 points. Let that all sink in and tell you how bad this New York Giant team is. I've never seen anything that stinks like this New York Giant team. And I mean, I've seen a lot of bad football. But this Giant team is just absolutely terrible, man. Look, if you hung in here this long, I appreciate it, man. I don't really have any more else, anything else more to say. But like, uh, like the video, ring the bell when you know I'm dropping new content. And definitely subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep bringing that heat regardless. And uh, I appreciate this, y'all. Just tune in Wednesday to me and my guy, Adam Casas, man, for another edition of The Real Deal, NFC East Roundup. We'll be breaking down the entire division, man, including talking once, talking a little bit more about this terrible New York Giant football team, man. It's y'all boy, Mac the Giants fan. Pat I'd like to thank you all for listening. If you was feeling this, please take time to subscribe and smack them likes. Feel free to drop a comment and let me know what you think. Don't forget to ring that bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. It's your boy, Mac the Giants fan. You can find me on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook at Mac the Giants fan. That's M-A-C-D-A Giants fan.